Did you know over 1,200,000 unborn children are aborted every year? 22 out of every 100 children conceived will have their life ended by abortion. More than one out of every five. In 2008, the total number of abortions since the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision in 1973, 54 million. That's equivalent to the entire population of the states in the Pacific time zone. Can you imagine everyone gone? How many doctors, pastors, teachers, scientists, moms, and dads have we lost? What great discoveries and innovations will we never know because we as a society have called a child a choice rather than a cherished blessing from God? I'll never go to school. I'll never play sports. I'll never have a first kiss. I'll never be a father. I'll never get married. Abortion is a terrible thing. Our founding fathers understood that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are God-given inalienable rights. To ensure we did not lose those rights, they gave us a representative form of government that enables us to have a say in who makes our laws. On average, more than 50% of all registered voters don't vote. Does it really matter if we vote? Well, remember the 2000 presidential election? George Bush was declared the winner by a margin of just 547 individual votes. It does matter. You can make a difference if you vote. This year, 2012, could be the most important election year in the history of America. We must restore the right to life in America. But to do so, we must elect leaders who will enact laws that uphold biblical truth by protecting both the life of unborn children and the health of their mothers. Be a part of it. Vote. Vote your values, your biblical values. I'm only one person. One voice. One vote. I can't do everything. But I can do something. I can register. I can cast my vote. And I can make a difference. I will. Will you? I will. Will you? I will. Will you? I will. Will you?